Hey everyone, it's April here with the Travel Collective and Fall Photo Trips. Just doing a quick video, and yes, even us can make mistakes when it comes to packing. Look at these three bags, and I've already taken out some stuff. They're overstuffed. I completely overpacked and took more than I needed for a two week trip. So even I need to learn how to pack more concisely. So the quick story is I'm trying to return home from some travels and I had a connection and that connection um, didn't happen. So I spent the night in a hotel. So if you've already checked a bag, and you think that by, you know, hey, I'm heading home, I'm gonna check my bag and stuff some stuff in that check bag. Now that you your options are more limited, once you're going to have to, you know, be stranded for an extra night, you have your carry-on, which hopefully has your toiletries, your hairbrush, something to sleep in, and hopefully an extra change of clothes. But if you thought going home, like, ah, no worries, I'm going to make it, and you shoved it all into the check bag, number one, that check bag may be going on to your final destination without you. Um, and you also may be spending the night without an extra change of clothes or without things that you may need. So I think it's important to consider, um, as other travelers have and are doing, is carry on only and only taking what you physically can carry. And unfortunately, um, the laws of science, we're not getting younger. We are getting going the opposite way. So sometimes our strength is more limited. Um, books often add weight to our travels. So reducing the number of books that we're taking. I know I have spoken to some travelers that like to have a paper book in hand when they're traveling, but maybe the one book you take, then you consider donating at some point along your travels or swapping. I know I stopped and saw a lot of um, free little libraries and actually picked up a book and then on my last night left it in the hotel room there. So that was one thing I didn't travel with. Um, the other thing that may or may not be important is extra shoes. Um, I'm a big proponent of always having an extra pair of shoes um, to switch out. It's important to do that. But in the light of my last two weeks on the road, pretty much I wore my hiking boots every single day. And it was only in the evenings at night that I had a little pair of shoes for the hotel. So maybe I didn't need these extra sneakers. That was extra room in this suitcase. Also, the camera gear, and yes, this is messy, so you are seeing kind of a mess today, but um, I have three camera bodies that went with me recently, and yes, I spent a lot of time photographing. I also um, wrap my socks off and around my camera gear to, again, can do, you know reduce space and protect my gear, but also really thinking through this gear. This is something I'm going to be spending some time with over the next few months is reevaluating this camera gear um, for travel. Um, these camera bodies that I love, um, these big SLRs, they are quite heavy. In fact, I'd like to weigh them and kind of see how much they weigh. Can I get used to shoot photographing with these smaller, lightweight Sony cameras? As you can see here, this is more the size of a cell phone camera, a little bigger, but a lot more portable a lot more lightweight. The lenses for these are a lot lighter. The batteries that you put in these, and it's important that these lithium batteries don't ever even get gate checked. They talk about no lithium batteries, which are these. So it's important to take all of these out. And how many lithium batteries do you pack? I realized when I picked up my backpack yesterday it was super heavy and so I was wondering what all I had here's at least three lithium batteries so it's really thinking through and yes packing less sometimes takes a lot of pre-thought a lot of organization here's at least three batteries for that Sony camera the um, Canon camera I use the batteries are heavier and they are a little bigger. So again, it's rethinking, you know, what that looks like potentially. Um, 
that's oh I see what happened the spring there was a little wonkety so just rethinking all of this I'll be doing some more videos as I go through and do a post a real complete post unpack I am gonna really um, rethink how many batteries I'm using how much did I how much probably I use two of these in a given day if I'm doing night photography three is probably the max I recharge these each night so again if I had more than three of these little Sony batteries I was probably packing too many um, another thing is pants how many pants ended up in the suitcase how many did I actually wear so again, it's really going through this suitcase and really looking at what's in here and what I packed. So you'll be seeing more of these videos. Just wanted to do a quick share on packing, um, something I still need to work on myself. So that's it, guys. Um, check out some of our other videos on The Travel Collective on YouTube. Thanks and hope to talk to you soon.